In this video, we're going to take a look how to handle errors in Next.js by creating error.tsx file. You could learn more about it in the Next.js documentation. You could read about error handling and different options that you have for yourself. Today, we're going to take a look at creating our error.tsx file and go from there. In our project, inside VS Code, navigate to source, data, loader.ts file, and inside get home page data, Let's go ahead and throw a new error. And navigate to our front end, we're going to see this error. But let's go ahead and replace it with something much nicer. In the description below to this video, you'll have a link that will take you to this article that covers all the things that we covered in this lecture. If you scroll down, you're going to see a code snippet for our error component, which is based on the example that we saw here in our Next.js docs. Go ahead and copy it. And inside our code editor, navigate to app. And inside the app folder, create a new file. And we're going to call it error.tsx. And go ahead, paste the code that we copied. If you scroll to the top, you notice that all error components have to be using use client. Now, I have an extension that always likes to complain about things. But this is just a warning and not a big issue. If you want to know what extension I have that's always showing me all the things that I could probably do better, you could find it in VS Code under extension and search for error lens. This is a great plugin, especially when you're working with TypeScript that will give you great feedback, including some of the things you could do better. But now when we navigate to our application, it doesn't crash in the way that it did before. And instead we have this beautiful error component. You could customize it in any way that you want and please use the Next.js docs as a reference to learn more about errors. Before I end this video, I'm going to go ahead into loaders and undo throwing the error. We know that it works. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video where we'll be going to tackle creating our sign-in and sign-up pages.